Today's question comes from Ramblin' Man. His name's appropriate. This is a long question. We're gonna be here for more than a few minutes. Sit back, relax, grab your drink, because this is a multi-part question with multiple tweets with details. Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TechDeals. More details at the end of the video. Ramblin' Man asks, I would love some advice from you, sir. I have been considering maxing out my current build to a 5950X. I currently have a 5900X, an MSI 6800 XT gaming trio, a ROG Dark Hero X570, and 64 gigs of RAM. Two gold stars for every nice build. I don't need to play the latest and greatest single player RPG games at launch. However, I do video edit in DaVinci Resolve, heavy stream, again, these are rambling man's words here, heavy stream with a lot of background tasks running. My question is, at its current price on Newegg, because that's the only place I buy from, would it be a justifiable buy at this point or should I just stick with my current build and wait for AM5, AM6? Thanks in advance. First of all, AM5 is already out. You don't have to wait. It's been available for seven months, eight months. Go buy that now. Don't wait a minute longer. At the current price, all right, let's TLDR this. The 5950X is the best available high-end CPU you could buy. I know some people will argue the 5800X 3D, but not in this case. In this case, you need the 16-core chip. The 5950X is the best available AM4 chip. It's the best available AM4 chip that's ever going to exist. It will hold its value. Nothing else will. If you've been watching current prices over the past year or so, what you'll notice is the 5700X, the 5800X, even the 5850X3, 5800X3D have dropped in price. The 5900X has dropped. You can now buy a Ryzen 9 5900X for around 300 and I've seen it on sale for under $300. The 5950X is holding stubborn at $500, and I don't see it dropping anytime soon. And the reason for that is, it's the chip everybody wants to upgrade to if they keep their platform. We saw this, we've basically seen this like all the times. Look at the price of an i9-9900K versus an i7-9700K. Look at an i7-7700K uh, versus an i5-9400 or 90, uh, excuse me, a 7400 or a seven, it's been a long time, 7600K. The point is the best chip on any given socket, whatever the best somebody can upgrade to is the chip that tends to hold its value and the others tend to sink. Now they all tend to sink over time, but that's where you're gonna retain your value. At the time of recording, an i9-9900K still commanded at least $300. That chip's been out five years. It has not lost half its value in five years where some of the lower end chips on that socket have. The point is if you have not yet upgraded to the 5950X, the ship sailed. You really should have done that already. And the reason for that is a year or so ago, you could have gotten a lot more money for your 5900X. Now, if you sell your 5900X used on eBay, maybe you get 254, maybe you get 275, if you're really lucky, fees, shipping, Hassle, risk, what are you really gonna net, 225? You're gonna go pay $500 for the new chip. You're looking at anywhere between 250 and $300 to upgrade. And what does that upgrade get you? It gets you four more cores. No more clock speed. I mean, technically, according to the specs, that's another 100 megahertz faster. It's the same clock speed. Same clock speed, same instructions per clock, same level three cache. It's it's not going to impress you. You're, you're gonna put it in and you're gonna use it and you're gonna go, well, that was worth $500. No, it wasn't. If you're going to buy the top end chip, buy the top end chip when it launches. I suspect if you've owned that 5900X for a couple of years, because those chips came out in 2020, so they've been out for quite a few years now. If you bought it back then, you certainly paid more money for it. And the 5950X was even more. The 5950X was probably 650, 
maybe even closer to 700. There was a shortage on them for a while. Let's say it was 650 back then and you paid 450 for your 5900X. Well, 650 minus 450 is $200. It's actually more expensive today to make the move than if you had just spent the 650 back then to do it. Now, your use case may have changed. Maybe you weren't streaming. Maybe you weren't video editing back then. I, that's fair. Times change, use changes, I get it. But for Pete's sakes, stop. This is to everybody else, not, not just to Ramble Man. Don't do small incremental changes. When you upgrade, upgrade. Do a big enough upgrade that it's a wow experience. And you go, man, I just spent all this money. Let me turn my computer. Oh, wow. Okay. Now that's faster. Okay. Click open. Ooh, wow. This thing is fast. If you're going to spend a bunch of money, do you not want that? Whoa, this is faster than my old laptop. This is faster than my old desktop. Upgrade to the most you can possibly afford and then keep it for as long as possible. Having said that, I would normally recommend that anyone with a Ryzen 9 5900X keep it. It's a great CPU. It absolutely is not obsolete in any way, shape, or form for most users. You might be the exception. To everybody else watching this, if you have a Ryzen 9 5900X and you casually stream just for fun, and you don't really do a lot of content creation or you do very, very light content creation just on the side, not necessarily for a living, and you play some games and you run some programs and your computer's just sort of there, good Lord, you have several very comfortable years with a Ryzen 9 5900X in front of you. You don't need to change a thing. You might even be able to skip AM5 and wait for AM6. And the reason I preface this it's because this statement is to Rambling Man and anybody else who fits his criteria. The i9-13900K and the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D were made for you. You are the person who fits that profile to a T. You're the person who will turn on a 9900K, uh, excuse me, a 13900K, got the 9900K on the brain, and you will go, that is a noticeable improvement, and it really is. But you probably should have bought those when they launched because the 13900K is halfway through its service, through its initial launch life. The 14900K is not that far away at this point, maybe six months. So you might wait for that at this point. Now, AM6 isn't coming anytime soon. AM6 probably is not coming before 2026 or 2027. If you want to stay with AMD and go that route, just go ahead and get AM5 now. There's no point in waiting. If you go that route, 7950X. If you don't play AAA games, you actually say that there. You don't necessarily play the latest AAA games. You may just get the 7950X non-3D chip. It's currently $550. It's almost the same price as the 5950X. Get a 7950X, and then when Zen 5 comes out, buy the 8950X. And when Zen 6 comes out, buy the 95, whatever they call it. They're going to run out of numbers here pretty soon. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers. Ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. The point is, you're the use case that should upgrade often. And that's honestly my advice is I think you should just go ahead and bite the bullet and do the upgrade. I personally went with a 7950X at home, replacing my old 9900K because I do want to be able to drop Zen 5 and Zen 6 in rather than have a dead end platform like the i9-13900K. The 13900K is actually a little faster than the 7950X, but there's nowhere to go with it. So hopefully that is helpful and useful to you. If you do ever see this, leave a comment down below and let us know what you do. 